dude it's it's good um honestly it's like the weirdest thing is that you know because we're so quarantined for so long in the you know the hotel and then obviously like the within the village weird it just felt weird being out you know what i mean like just being around people and seeing people and being at a restaurant i'm like what the heck's going on so, dude like i was i was thinking about going to the coffee shop like a block down the other day i was like Emma, can i even go to the coffee shop like i, I have freedom I'm like what? yeah right, right it's crazy so yeah is, is it a bit weird for you too no it's totally weird what i didn't think about was Kind of, like I knew going down there, like it would be an adjustment. <clears throat> but once I came back, I didn't think that it would be an adjustment to get like adjusted back to your normal life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 like, dude. I I'm the same boat. Yeah, it's it's weird. Just like having the freedom to do whatever you want, whenever you want. Like knowing the time. Like like <laughs> little things like that. I'm like like I can go to bed now. Like my sleep schedule is like all over the place because I don't think my body realized like when I was going to bed. It was like this is nuts. No, 100% I'm the same way. Like, my schedule, I mean, because I'm on Eastern time, so, I mean, it's a six-hour difference. I'm still, like, getting over the whole time difference and the change and, like, having those freedoms and just being able to do what I want. Like, it all feels so foreign, you know? Right, yeah. Um. So, what's the first thing you did when you got back? <sighs> first thing. See family, I'm guessing, right? So, like, grandparents? Oh, family. My dad came and got me from the airport, and we, uh... I got with all the family and checked on everybody and everybody's well. So it all, yeah, it was, uh, it was nice to see everybody again. My little sister was like freaking out that I was home. So it was awesome yeah. to see her out. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I want to meet your grandparents. They sound cool. I love the fact that you're so close to them. Yeah, no, you're, whenever you come out, like, cause I'm, I'm definitely coming to see you and you have to come here cause everybody wants to meet you. So yeah. Hell we'll, yeah. Uh, look that up for sure. No, I love that. Cause I, I'm like, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm like really close with my like grandparents as well. Like my grandmother, she passed away like a while ago, but my grandfather, like he was like, a, like literally had every practice, not even just every game, but like every practice I had. So he's like literally in my life just as much as like, it seems like your grandparents are. So I thought it was pretty cool that you said that. It's awesome. Right. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a whole thing, man. Grandparents are, you know, they, they mean so much and everything and family in general. It's uh it's been a whirlwind, man. The whole thing just, seeing my family getting back like kind of in the groove of things you know it's been you know we got a new week coming up too so i'm gonna i haven't been back to work quite yet so i'll start there tomorrow and we'll kind of see like kind of take it day by day you know right that's awesome um so question for you actually was i was gonna ask you this before but i just waited to this um so like what was your thought process and like what like did you take away at least from the you know day day and a half two days you were there i don't know everything kind of meshes together um like like what you because like you know we are there that made people realize like three hours seems like a total day one day seems like three days you know so it seems like a lot so it's curious yeah. like what like well, how would you take from that my take, my biggest takeaway was just learn how fast you learn about every like the other islanders so quickly dude because like i got to know right. you as so, like you said, like I was only in there for a couple of days, but I know, like, I feel like I know you very well. I know, like, all, like, most of the other guys in the villa and the girls, too, like some of them, but especially those, like, our, those close bros, like, just yeah. the amount of I learned in such a short period of time and just, it was crazy. Right. Yeah. It's, it's nuts how, like, a hour long conversation without any distractions, like phones, TV, like, you know, outside sources can really, like, let you actually know someone for who they are like it's 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 crazy I, honestly it's just the most nuts experience ever i mean obviously you know that but like it's crazy and nobody i feel like people don't really grasp like how like it's a lot dude you know like it's a total mm -hmm. it's a total experience and you're like totally immersed in it and like it's your life man it's crazy it's like hard to explain to anyone who hasn't done it you know oh for sure yeah people are asking me all the time like you know what happened you know like because you know, people, they see what happens from what, you know, the show wants to show, but they don't see, like, what happens, like, every two seconds in the show. Uh, right. Have you watched any of it? I've watched, yeah, I've watched a little bit. Um, I haven't saw, I saw where Wes left and, and, and you and then the other girls, but um, I haven't saw, I don't think I've seen the, the most recent one. Okay, yeah, I I watched, like, the one episode, obviously, I came in on, so I just want to see how that looked like. Um, and then I watched, like, some behind-the-scenes stuff, but I, like, literally haven't seen, like, much. I just I don't even know if I want to watch all of it. I feel yeah. like I'm going to shake my head at myself. <laughs> watch the one where you left? 
I didn't watch that one. No, I feel like I'm going to feel sad. <laughs> but yeah. Sad. Uh, yeah, it was funny. It was weird. When I got back, like the next, maybe I think it was the next day they had an episode airing that had, uh, it was like my last one. And I was like, what? It was weird. It was like such a weird feeling watching that episode with my family because we were just all sitting here and like seeing myself up there. It was crazy, man. It's like messing right. So nuts. Um, so I saw you went golfing. How, how'd that go? Wait, when? Is it, or did you just post a photo? Uh, Oh, that was from when I was telling you about the trip. I was at, like, I was in Myrtle Beach. Oh. Right? Okay. okay. Yeah. I didn't know if that was like, uh, that you did. Like, I was like, damn. No, no I'm I mean, I, scared. Honestly, I'm scared to get out there and see how bad I am. <laughs> dude, you're telling me, like, I, it's so weird because I don't golf. I used to golf like every day. Now I don't, like, literally golf like five times a year. Um, but it's weird because, like, sometimes I'll go out there and I'll just hack around and I'll be like, oh, she's like a freaking 85. Or I'll get out there and I'll be striping the ball. Should be shooting like shoot like a seventy eight when I should have shot even par. Just like my putting was off. So like whenever I go, it's just like literally just all over the place. You know, know. even all of my clubs are, are guaranteed to be off. I bet you I can't even sink a putt. <laughs> you never know. Like it's one of those times. It's like it's like you. I, I have like messages from these girls that I work with that are um, messaging me right now, like saying you're so hot. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, a lot, yeah, a lot of the girls uh, that I work with, uh, like they like you. We got a handsome man in here, you know? At least one of us, you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, um, have you ever taken a fitness class before? I think I asked you that, but I forgot what you said. No, I had told you, like, my splits and everything. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, And obviously when we went to Hawaii, like, how different it was. and, and so like. Um, but no, not not ever, like, a, a legit class, huh? I would um, want to. Well, we're gonna have you. We're gonna have you take a class when you come here. We'll have you take a Barry's class. That'll uh, be. I'll bring it. Be, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 definitely interesting. It's different than like you, you know, because obviously in the gym you just crank out whatever you need to crank out. You rest, you chill, you look at your phone, you listen to music, whatever. But it's right. like you're constantly moving. Um, yeah. So it's like it's like a different like kind of kind of vibe. But you'll like nope. it. It's like no nonsense. Like you're just getting it done. Like I like that. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, like it's different because you know loud music different like it's like a red room so it's like dark and everything it's just it's a total vibe it's it's hard to explain unless you experience it but you know right. i think you i think i think you'll like it um dude i mean dude i saw where you have a trip planned what do you got you got or i don't know if you detail but are you going to see some people or yeah i mean i got a bunch of P, uh friends in la that um i just like have traveled with um the last year, year and a half, and right. I haven't seen them in a while. And I mean, I've obviously haven't seen many people in a while since we've been, you know, gone. But uh, I haven't specifically seen those group of friends in a while. So I'm like, you know what? Before I get back into work, let's just like do a little trip to LA, see them. Um, if I can make connections with anyone else uh, out there, great. I think I'm gonna meet up with that Christian guy. Um, yeah, from, that's, you know, I was thinking that because he wanted me to come out too. And if we could all get together somehow, that would be sick. Yeah, he. Uh, he he seems like an awesome dude. I was so disappointed that I didn't get to meet him when I got in there. So yeah. you know, I meet up with him and say hi. And uh, you know, if anyone else like that's like you know past seasons or whatever that are out there, then probably you know say hi to them. You know, keep the Love Island fam connected and you know meet everyone, which would be cool. But uh, yeah, you know. no, I I did talk with Connor a little bit. Did you you talked to him as well, right? Dude, that dude is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. <laughs> as you as you know, like we went live uh two days ago and just just a genuine like down to earth dude um so yeah that was good um i talked obviously we had the interviews with um mckenzie looking at all the names what's what was what that podcast we were on a lot of folks like a lot of people reached out and like you know it's cool that everybody's like a, a family you know it's kind of really tight knit actually for sure for sure yeah everyone seems super supportive and like everyone's invested i didn't realize how many people were invested in, in love island right like no. very like invested caring um just yeah it's it's pretty mind-blowing how positive like a lot of the messages i've gotten i was expecting to get like a bunch of this hate mail <laughs> But um, everyone's been pretty positive. No, so exactly the same here, man. It was like kind of refreshing in a way because like it's so, everyone's been so supportive and like so uh, just so nice, you know. It's been really cool to see and experience for sure. That's awesome, dude. Uh, you notice that I got ears pierced? 
when since like last time literally the day i landed i went to the, the dude, uh, dude, so this, being on the show has got me thinking like stuff i've never thought about before like i, I meant to put this earring in while i was there because i wanted to mess with giovanni because yeah. I, I forgot but i want to do um i remember i was talking to will and like i saw his nose ring i was like that is so sick man i never thought those were sick but now i do because maybe i'm on love island i don't know i'm getting weird but yeah and now, I kind of want like that little nose ring now, dude. You could probably rock it, um, I, like you and I, you and Will. Yeah, I'm scared with work and stuff. They'll just be like, you know, who, who's this guy? Man? <laughs> I mean, you could rock it like on a weekend. You know, like you don't have to have it in all, all times. Um, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I was just like, I've always wanted to have like my ears pierced and just like check it out. And you know, I think being in there, everyone's like, dude, you look good with them. You'll go to them. I'm like, screw it, I'm just gonna do it and send it. No, and, that's you've never had a pierce before ever. Dude, I don't have anything. I went in, or everyone had tattoos. Everyone had something pierced, whatever. I'm like, I'm literally the only person here that's completely clean. And then, you know, I got influenced. <laughs> and you got peer pressured, yeah. No, it looks yeah. good. That's that's dope. Yeah, yeah. There. I mean, I didn't realize you have to have it in for like four, six weeks, like at least six weeks before that's you can what, change them. I don't know how it is with the nose, but you know, I couldn't just get. I don't think I could just, like just get Uh-oh. it. And- pop it back out real quick like after i just got it it'll probably grow up i guess it's actually a, a very good point well they're gonna have to accept you for who you are then <laughs> what is christian in here uh i think s- he did comment a while ago Let's yeah, i was trying to see if can we do three people in here um i'm totally new to this man dude i i it took me a while to figure it out um I think he dropped out. Chris, yeah, I think he did. He would have commented or something. Oh, yeah. good. But no, man, it's um, good to... I knew... Uh, I didn't know when I'd get to talk to you again, but it's good to freaking catch up, dude. I can't wait to... I mean, I really do want to come... We talked about it so much, but I, I really want to come to Houston. Yeah, I mean, like, these things are great. Like, technology's great to have, like, you know, conversations like that, but the in-person interaction and just, like... I think you'd... You being like a, a country dude, you literally like Texas. Like Texas has that has that good vibe. Hey, there he is. No, I think I fit right in. I'm definitely gonna bring my cowboy hat and my pair of boots or two. You gonna pop him in? I was trying, but it won't let me. Yeah, I you might be able to do three. But send, send a request and see if I can. I think you only. Oh yeah, he has to send a request. Yeah. Let him pop in. Um. You sent me some coffee, man. I can't find my car, guys. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is he doing? Getting Chris, what Christian? <laughs> can't find my car. We're trying. We're trying. It's, um. So, what's your plan for the next like month? Like, as you're like home, just getting back into things, or? I've got, uh, I've still got some people to see. I'm going to catch up with a lot of different people probably this week and this coming weekend. I'm trying to, uh, I'll be in Savannah. Um, I don't know if we, do we, I don't know if we ever talked about like Savannah, Georgia or not, but I'll be in Savannah in August. We're going to, I'm going to do a little trip down there. Um, I'm trying to get, uh, I might go to North Carolina. I might go to, there's quite a few places I'm, I'm trying to go, but I really want to come to Houston. I'm I really want to go to L.A. I've never been to L.A. ever, so I was trying to go there at some point. Dude, if you want to be spontaneous and meet me out there uh, next weekend, it's the no, that, there. Yeah, well, that would be, I mean, I, might, I mean, I, I really might consider that. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there Thursday morning until Sunday midday, so, um, and I don't really have, like, I mean, my group of friends is so welcoming and, and fun, and then obviously, uh, Hopefully, Christian will be there, meet up with him, and then I'm sure a bunch of other people will just be welcoming out there, too. So, Oh, for sure. I mean, I feel like, at least for me, I thought my thought process is might as well just do it right away, um, get out, see some people, meet some people, and then get back into the swing of things. But, um, yeah, dude, Houston is uh, – is, it's, it's a good zone. It's one of those cities, though. It's, a, it's great to settle down in. Um, it's great. It has so many different, like, dimensions to it. Um, it's not like an LA or like an Austin or New York where you like go and you like an instantly like see an attraction. It's more of like, right. you have to like know like the little ins and outs, like, 
like have someone that shows you around and stuff like that, like that. But like, obviously I know what I'm, <laughs> I've been here for two and a half years, so I'll show you around. That sounds so sick, man. I've always, I, just in Texas in general, I don't know what it is, but I've always wanted to go to Texas and check that out. So, I mean, the fact that I have like a pretty good tour guide, I mean, that, that can only help. Right. So, we'll, oh, oh, for sure. Dude, I'm missing, uh, are you a country concert guy? Oh yeah, man. I've been to, I've been to a few. Yeah, dude, I'm missing those so bad. And, like, I'm hoping that there's someone that has like, at least some sort of country concert here soon. I used to go to, like, I've been to at least 50 of them in Wisconsin before no, I came I was, here. Yeah, no, I actually, I think next weekend I might be in Nashville, maybe. Okay. So, but have you no. been to Nashville? Dude, I haven't. Um, I really want to go. We need to set that up, too. You would like Nashville. It's a really... That place is always cool. Oh, so down. Um, I mean, I have a couple friends there. And also, like, there's a another location with my work there. So I can just go there and, like, kind of transfer myself over. Um, but, yeah, dude, I'd be down for that. I mean, country, not many people know this, but, like, I love country. It's my favorite, like, uh, genre. So, like, if as long as I can go to a country concert, I'm happy. <laughs> They're some of the best, man. I mean, we could... That's definitely in the cards, man. I have my birth. My birthday comes up uh, in the fall too, so there's usually like around my birthday, like some kind of cool country concert you can go to. Like it's nice weather or down down here. Nice. Um, so I have to work that your, up. What's your favorite artist? Country. Yeah. That's tough, man. I like I like all the old stuff. I mean, I like like old Texas country, like George Strait. I like Midland. I like. Mm-hmm. Likes Morgan Wallen. He's a, he's all right. I like Morgan Wallen pretty good. Um, Sam Hunt. Sam Hunt is from like where I grew up, so I like Sam. I try to support him. He's a. Uh, you remember yeah. that story I told you about that? What about, about Sam one? Hunt? I don't want to say it on here, but <laughs> I, don't know. I I'll tell you later. I, I know. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you later. Um, yeah, no, what? he's good. He's good I'll, stuff. Go ahead. What'd you say? No, I was just gonna say those are some of them. I, I can't start to name them all, but I mean, I like I like old country and I like new country too, or new like country. So I mean, yeah. it's all good, just dependent. Yeah, Garth Brooks, you know, it's all good. Oh yeah, Garth Brooks is good. Um, Luke Combs. One of my favorite concerts was uh, Kenny Chesney. Um, the yeah. the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I've been to like many Luke Bryan concerts. I like Luke Bryan. Oh yeah, he, good. Um, Jason Aldean, one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, no, all those, it's good stuff. For sure. Um, well, don't man, uh, what do you got going on tonight? Just chilling? Yeah, I got a, my buddy's over here, he's DJing it up, so we're, uh, I've got some dinner in the oven, I'm probably going to eat here in a second, just kind of wind down, so nothing going on, I'm going to try to, like I said, get, get like back into work tomorrow and kind of see what I can get done. For sure. Dude, yeah. I'm like, I need to get back in the gym. <laughs> it's yeah. not... Uh, Go ahead. You know I mean? It's like not having like, like a heavy barbell. I do. I, so I went to CrossFit. Not, yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday for the first time and hit like the hardest work I probably have had in like the last six months. I was on the floor literally for five minutes straight. Couldn't get up. <laughs> it's like I haven't dealt with like heavy, heavy kettlebells, heavy barbells, like none of that stuff. Right. Um, so you get right back into it. But I got, like, dude, I, I freaking shrunk. And I look smaller on television, dude. I was like, dang, man, I look freaking... Like, I know, I, I mean, because I didn't get to eat a whole, whole lot while I was down there. Not as much as I usually do, but I was like, when I got back and started trying to work out, I was like, geez, man, like, I've still got some strength, but it's nowhere near, like, what I was right before I left, you know? So I'm going to have to kind of build back on that. And I'm trying to, like, get my calories back to what they were. And, yeah. You know. It's crazy. Like, yeah, I definitely, I lost 10 pounds since I, I, I left. Probably. You what? About at least 10, I would say I lost. I mean, it was, I didn't notice it until somebody told me, like, when I got home, they were like, dang, you look small. I was like, oh, oh no, dude. We'll get that's, back the, to- that's the worst. When your homies are like, you look small, I'm like, thanks, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you know, it. An older lady, too. I was like, damn, that burns, man. Older lady? Yes. Oh, damn. Cougar chaser. They don't have filters down here, bro, so it's just, they'll tell you what they're feeling, you know? That's it. Hey, that's the way I like it. Straight, blunt, straight forward. Let you know what's on your mind. Straight your face. Quick roast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but dude, honestly, like, um, yeah, I'm going to LA Thursday through Sunday. If you just randomly, spontaneously are like, 
screw it. I don't got much going on. Like, come meet me out. Uh, we'll figure it out. And, um, and if not, like, I'll be, I don't think I'll be traveling, at least right now, uh, too much after um, that, unless it's literally to you or, like, we're going in a group of people, like, somewhere. So, like, you're always going to be welcome in, in Houston. Um, I, I, I think we got some stuff. We got this thing called Restaurant Week, which is, like, it's more like a restaurant month. Or you can go to a bunch of like cool restaurants, which Houston's known known for is like a very foodie city. Um, where, where there's like a you can go basically try out these amazing restaurants for like a lot less than you usually would be able to or have to pay for it. Um, so there's like cool things that go on, you know, here and there. It's a big city, obviously. There's something to do um, always. And so if you're ever if you're feeling it, you're always welcome. Just let me know. Um, we're always, you know, we're gonna. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make it to you, and you have to make it over here too, because everyone wants to meet you and. And we'll chop it up and find something to get into. But, I mean, no, for sure. I mean, I'll see what I can do for, the, the I guess, next weekend. So, I mean, like I said, I've never been to Los Angeles, so I want to go. And if I could beat y'all out there, that would be that would be pretty perfect. So, we'll see what we can do for sure. For sure. Well, um, I'll let you get back to your dinner and all that stuff. But uh, stay in touch. Let me know, yeah, like about this weekend. If not, then we'll just figure it out. Um, and we'll, we'll hop on here again soon. 100 percent man i can't wait to see you again bro it's gonna be it's gonna be lit for sure <laughs> all right brother love you have a good night you too.